Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tanzeel Mirza. Today I wanted to discuss another strange sorting algorithm that is quantum bogo sort. It is also known as monkey sort or shotgun sort or permutation sort. The sorting technique is very simple. In fact, the simplest sorting algorithm that I have seen so far. But also I would like to point out that it's one of the most dumbest inefficient algorithm that I have seen. And uh, I have a strong reason to say that. We'll see this happening in a couple of minutes. So the whole idea is to create multiple permutations, all the permutations of all the elements in the given array. Then we check each permutation, whether it's sorted or not. And then finally print the sorted permutation. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the coding part. And I'm going to use Java for this. Let's open the terminal to CD doc. Documents. Here I'll create one file called logosort.java. Let's gedit and let's open this file in VS Code. In fact, not the gedit.er. Okay. Quickly, we'll create one class called logosort. And then our main method will go here and I'll create one integer array and first I would like to okay let's keep it empty we'll add elements here let's keep it empty for now okay. then I'm going to instantiate I'm just going to create a reference variable of that the reference or object whatever call it object however it's a reference variable reference type variable of bogosort but that's okay we know what it is we'll just create an object like that okay. a default constructor uh, using the default constructor and then the sysout and the, first i would like to print the initial array without sorting and render array I'll pass and then I'll call the sorting algorithm I'll call it bobo and then I'll pass the same array there and then at last I'll render the same array again and this time I would print out sys out sorted array okay now main method ends here now we have to add we are going to add our method the first method I want to add is render and it will take one integer array our very own for loop less than array dot length i plus plus increment the i and then the sys out array of i and let's just create some space between the elements when it is getting printed that's it okay now i'm going to create one method called bogo this is the method that will actually sort the array However, this method alone is not going to sort out the array. We'll add few more methods here. I just want to componentize. I just want to uh, distribute this code into several methods. Okay, this being done. 
and also I would like to keep the track of all the shuffling we did so I'll just add one variable called shuffle here and just add a comment here to keep track of shuffles we did okay now the for loop initialization part we have already done semicolon not if it's not sorted sending the array sending the array and the shuffle plus plus this method also i have to add is sorted once this is done if it is not sorted then we'll call shuffle method this method also we'll have to add and then I'll pass on the entire array. This being done, and then one sys out I will do here is number of shuffles. To sort this array. Shuffle. Okay, now I am going to add this method first public white shuffle first let's add this method it will take this integer array okay. and guys here I am going to use this Fisher Yates shuffle algorithm so it's something out of the box uh, you can google this term it's a very simple algorithm maybe if time permits i'll shuffle uh, i'll cover this shuffle algorithm also but let it be simple in this video it is only used for shuffling the elements of the array length and it is till length minus one so while i is greater than zero what we'll do is swap array i minus minus and then we'll type past it here math dot random now we are going to add the swap method this so this will also take one array the same array will pass and it will also take inti and intj and then the very own logic we might have applied this logic a number of times the swapping algorithm using the third variable as we say array of i is equals to array of j and then array of j is equals to temp that's it what else is required yeah the main method that we to add is public this has to be of type boolean I'm going to write the definition for is sorted again the array i is equals to 1 i is less than array dot length i plus plus if array of i is then the basic comparison now doing 
nothing extra here and if this condition is true let me just scroll down so that it's visible okay and if this condition is true then we'll just return false or else we will return true okay let's go to the top and cross check the code if everything is in place or not or not okay this is required what else is remaining this looks good looks good looks good to me okay okay we'll run the code and see so first thing first i just want to try it out with the already sorted list of four elements i am ex expecting that it will sort the this array immediately as it is already in sorted order and the number of shuffle will be one public bobo okay written type what else is there let's quickly fix this no suitable method found for what where it is complaining okay okay this is the problem it cannot be comma i'm sorry guys i'm a javascript developer i mean i'm into javascript also so sometimes i just confuse with the syntax sometimes i write sys out in javascript so it happens really sorry for that clear let's clear the console compile it again and got compiled let's run it and since our array is all already sorted and there are only four elements so i'm expecting that it will be shuffled in only first try and it will be quick yeah so initial array is one two three four and the number of sh uh, shuffles was one okay because it was already shuffled so how many permutations will be there for four elements it will be 4 factorial so the 4 uh, factorial of 4 that is 24 so similarly for if there are 5 elements the number of permutations will be the maximum number of permutations I'm talking about the maximum number of permutations will be 5 factorial for 6 elements it is 6 factorial so similarly for let's say 10 elements are there if there are 10 elements then I cal calculated this some time ago so that will be around 36 lakh 28,800 permutations see that how bad it is that how bad it is you can see now let me just shuffle these only to make it 3 and make it 1 let's see how it performs I'll just clear the console compile and then run the code okay I think it's, it's still calculating the permutations and checking whether everything is correct or not so this is the one of the most I think the most inefficient and the dumbest kind of sorting algorithm so I'll never recommend anyone to use this see that's how bad it is I'm not sure how much time will it take. So if you're lucky, you will get the sorted in the very first permutation itself. It's just on your luck. And I want uh, see it's taking this much time for the four elements only. Uh, and I wanted to try out this algorithm with 20 elements. So that will be 20 factorial. And that's why the best uh, time the best case complexity of this the best complexity is n and the worst case complexity is infinite for this algorithm 
okay and i wanted to try out try out this thing with 10 elements i don't know how much time it will take so few days ago i was just watching a video on youtube and there was a guy i don't remember the name exactly the channel name also he tried 14 elements okay and it took 5 hours finally to to get the result it took it took him 5 hours so that's how bad it is so you can imagine it's ridiculous it's ridiculous amount of time okay i'll paste that uh, link in the description below okay. i'll never recommend this algorithm to anyone let me just press control c and clear everything let me just try out with some other elements let's see if it is able to sort oh, it's not even able to sort that also Let's sort. Let's let's try some medium complexity. This is really bad. Really bad. Okay. One, two, three, four. It will be done immediately. With number of shuffles is equals to one okay let's try it out with only three elements and see how fast it is three one and two okay uh, it took two shuffles to sort this three factorial is how much six some time so yes, that's how it works okay I'll just close the program here itself and I'll close the terminal also so this is how uh, this quantum bogo sort is performed that's why it is also known as uh, a monkey sort and shotgun sort there are multiple names for that but it's basically the same thing okay so that's how bad it is it's ridiculous takes ridiculous amount of time hope you enjoyed this video guys uh, in the upcoming videos we'll see some other out of the box sorting algorithms hopefully better than this okay thank you so much guys thank you so much for watching this video